What's up, Dice Crew? Now, I'm sure, or maybe you're not familiar with it, but recently it seemed like the female rap artists that go by the name of Stunner Girl had um, been a victim of a shooting, right? And now it looks like she's having to fall out with her so-called husband, you know, the dude that go by uh, Young Rich Moolah. And she has certain things to say about him. But I'm going to read it out loud to y'all, and then I'm going to give y'all my take on it. So Stunner Girl posted, don't attach my name to any guy. I had a, I have been had a new guy. She said, take the pee off of your face. You're not from Compton. You got put on in prison at the age of 23. And tell the world how you ran when I got popped and called my little brother crying, asking him to help. And I been cheated on you two years ago. You got ran out of Oakland and went to LA and tried to be a Pyru. You was finna get the pee whacked off your face cause nobody was messing with you. And people barely start messing with you once we got the network popping. Then she said, you have a, a colossal I don't know how to say the, the exact word, but you know, he got a bag that, um, you know, controls the uh, outcome of his bowel movements or whatever, right? And all I have to say is this. If you've been knowing all this about this guy, how did you still take, take him up to no jumper, take him to back on fit, run around everywhere with him, you know, still be associated with him and attached to him, but you didn't have a problem with none of those things when you was, you know, still having dealings with this guy. It's crazy to me. And then also to like turn around and say that you have been cheated two years ago, do you think that make you look good or do that make you look crazy? It seemed like you really ain't that bright. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful to Stunner Girl, but I feel like it's a big lesson in this situation that everybody can learn from. And I've always said this. If you got a problem with a person, conduct, behavior, or anything associated with them, cut yourself loose or detach yourself from them. Do not overlook a thousand things that you feel like is not cool. And then when you have a fallout, you bring all those things up. You know, and if you do, it's a certain way you have to deliver it to where it don't make you yourself look bad. But it speaks it speaks a lot about Stunner Girl if she feels like these things that she's throwing at that guy is a bad look and she's uh uh she was cool with it. You know, if you found something wrong with it, you should have cut your ties then and there. And you know, you tell me he ran, he got ran out of Oakland. You know all these things. You know, you say he got put on in prison. He got put on the gang at 23. You know, using all these things as a bashing tool. You know what I'm saying? To uh, 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 to bring him down or whatever, you know? But it's like, how do you carry all that information and you don't think that anybody will look at you some type of way by you continuously associating yourself with that type of program? Come on, man, that wasn't good. And, you know, I just had to speak on that real fast because I stumbled across that post. And, yeah, man, uh, I just an ugly situation. And also, you know, people had, um, uh, people was calling him out when that situation that had took place. And we had made a video about it. But remember, Stunner Girl had a problem at a concert. Might have been like three or four months ago. And... Uh, a guy had uh, touched a uh, stunner girl inappropriately, right? And stunner girl went off and she, tur she told young Rich Moolah and all he did was approach that individual and just get in front of his face. Then I think the security started having an altercation with that guy who touched uh, stunner girl and then young Rich Moolah pretty much started engaging. But everybody was saying that he wasn't being a stand-up individual for his girl at that time anyway. You know, either you, you know, either you chalk it to the game and say, hey, you know, he's just a super crazy fan or whatever. Or if you're going to engage, you got to engage and be the man. But you engage with it 
and you know you waited for other people to get involved for you to finally get physical so i'm just saying it wasn't no problem then and also you know if he did not perform the way he was supposed to perform when stunner girl got shot i feel like that's one of her own bad choices because you've been seeing everything i'm sure you've been catching all the signs the way you putting it out there now that this guy wasn't that type of guy you know so if you associate yourself with that guy and then something took place it's kind of like you know you already knew this the way he was going to carry yourself if a real situation took place so you know let that be a lesson to all you girls out there that's just overlooking guys being very 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 not masculine not carrying their self a certain way uh just to keep you know whatever it may be and it don't even have to be just on relationship side you know whatever whether it's your homies your friends your families whoever do not associate yourself with people who you do not agree with certain things that they have participated in or whatever and then turn around tomorrow and find all those things to be a problem and you didn't have a problem with them yesterday so i just want to speak on that real briefly shout out to the dice crew uh, you know, hopefully Stunner Girl is all right if she can recover from her uh, injuries. And y'all keep it a binge for me in the comments and let me know how y'all feel about that. I'm out.